for Morgan. I think there are a couple of players in this game that there isn't range in the dictionary for them. Another turnover leads to a run out. Schulte, no. Morgan, yes. All five for Tulane. Now Tulane's gone back to that zone. In the middle of it, there's Atkinson with the contact. Competition is fantastic, but Temple wants to come in here today and get a road win. Well, Denasia Fountain is doing everything she can to make that happen. Her and Atkinson, now five of seven. Wyatt sagged back. It allowed Fountain a good look with one second on the shot clock. The putback's there from Atkinson. Nobody stops Schulte, who goes all the way in. Count it. So she, she brings that aggression. Those are the things that aren't on the stat sheet. Oh, 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 Fountain. How can they slow down Fountain? Morgan, good find underneath to the cutting Harlan Wyatt. Fountain gazes down at the line, buries another three. So again, an offensive board is playing the best defense she can by staying straight up. Oh, barely tiptoeing the sideline right there. Then Fountain dishes one off to Butts. And no doubt Lisa Stockton going to have to call a quick timeout, and she does, because as Temple comes out of this huddle, they are on fire. Up ahead, nice find. Vorpal's got to let Butts go. Madara Naranga couldn't get it there. It's Morgan. That would count, and it does. Give it to Kukchek. Crashing on the weak side, and a little bit of needed momentum for the Green Wave going into the locker room. They just get after it. Look at Fountain in the passing lane. Almost looked like she was sizing it up to rise up. <laughs> New career high, 26. There's Sherelle with an offensive rebound. That is their third of this quarter, and it leads to a three from Butts. There's one thing we just saw in the scouting report for Temple is make it tough for Morgan to make shots. Butts starting to feel it. Another assist for Fitzgerald and a timeout for Tulane. Butts really feeling it here in this third quarter, isn't she? That's her third three. It feels like the first quarter when Tulane was balanced and Temple only had Atkinson and Fountain. But that feels like decades ago because now it's becoming the Aaliyah Butts show. Four threes in the quarter. 17 times she's taken Tulane to the postseason. Yeah. 11 NCAA tournament appearances and six for the WNIT. Played with so much confidence and poise all game long. Atkinson now with the runner. Shut down Morgan, forced Vorpal into an uncharacteristically tough game. And the result is snapping a two-game losing streak in resounding fashion, 76-50.